quick video. Got my number one son's bike in the shop. And got to replace the... Hey, how you doing? How do I look? I'm good. We got a dry water valve stem. Won't hold air. So I'm going to mark where the uh, chain is or the um, position of where the um, chain wear indicator is. And also, you'll find notches on both sides of the swing arm to help you keep your rear tire aligned. I'm gonna mark these. And I'll pull this rear tire off and go get a new valve stem put in. There's a cotter pin on this side. It keeps the castle nut in place so the nut won't come off when you're riding. And we won't reuse this one. We'll put a new one in. We'll put a new one in when we get the wheel back. First thing we gotta do, loosen this up. Well, help if I have the right size. What is that, a 13? Probably a 12, maybe a 10. This is your, yeah, what does uh, that 12? You wanna loosen this enough. So once you loosen this bolt, you can slide the tire forward so that the chain can you can take the chain off the sprocket. Then you can take the wheel off. the axle rod on the right side and I use the impact to break this loose. There we go. Pull them all the way off. that is so this is a space there that goes in between here and where it goes through the uh, brake caliper holder and into the uh, other side of the swing arm simple as that time five minutes not even anyway just see you in the garage